here's a quick one for you. So in order to get to this point, you have to, with an iPhone, plug it in to the port that's in the console, which you can't see, unless you know it's there, which I knew it was there. <laughs> and then set up the app on your phone and launch the application on here. And from that point, you can open the quick guide, pick your year of vehicle, pick your model, wait for a while, and then wait for a while, and then you can wait for a while. And then after that, you wait for a while. And then when you're done doing that, you wait for a while. Oh, and then you can tap on Starlink or User Guide or whatever you got. So I'll tap on that. Now, wait a minute. I better learn how to use this thing. So I'll go back a couple times, I guess too far, pick the vehicle. And then you wait for a while. And then you wait for a while. And then when you're done doing that, you wait for a little while. And then you can wait for a little while. Oh, and then you can tap on Starlink, which, by the way, is the application I'm using to even see this. And maybe, maybe I want to learn about some of the controls, so I'll tap on Controls. And, uh, okay, so Starlink controls, I guess. I'll tap on that. And, uh, okay, so within Starlink controls, I can see valuable information. Like, you know, that's the load slot. Okay, and then how about this one right here? Oh, that's the eject button, which has nothing to do with Starlink controls. And let me back up a little bit here first. If you look right here, you can see you've got home, phone, and apps. I'll turn on my lights. That doesn't even match the vehicle that I'm driving. That's not even the right selection of buttons on this head unit. I just can't believe how horrible this is. It's truly, truly terrible. And as much as I love my Forester, Subaru should be ashamed that they ever put this out here. Who? is going to not know how to, to use the load slot and the eject button, but have gotten this far to connect their phone and go through all this setup to see that. Waste time, waste my life, and now I've wasted some of yours, so sorry. But anyway, thanks for bearing with me to this point. I think I'll hit the eject button.